I'm Lena, I'm 20 years old, and I am a current sophomore at Wheaton College, Massachusetts. Hi, my name is Justa Ganji, and I'm 21 years old, and I joined Empower Her six years ago when I was 15 years old. I've been a part of Empower Her for about four years now, this is going to be my fifth year, and I lost my mom when I was 14 years old to cancer, and I got involved in Empower Her about a year after that, which definitely made the transition into like the new lifestyle that you have to live after mother loss a lot smoother. I had lost my mom to brain cancer in October um, of my sophomore year of high school. I was invited to empower her second annual Mother's Day retreat that May and it honestly changed my life forever. I was so grateful to have been invited and to meet all those girls. There was only 14 of us at that point, but it really did change my life. When I lost my mom, I was lucky enough to have an amazing family in my corner. I was lucky enough to have amazing friends in my corner and I was lucky enough to have just amazing role models outside. I was lucky enough to have lots of amazing woman role models in my life. Um, in high school, I was involved in a lot of sports. I had coaches who were so understanding and so there for me and really willing to like step into that female role model role for me, which was amazing. And like I said, I know not everyone's lucky enough to have a family who they can openly talk to about mother loss or loss in general and like I was lucky enough to have that so that definitely made the transition for me so much smoother and I'm so lucky to have that but I never really knew that many other people who had lost their mom before I had never talked to another girl about it I had never talked to another girl about the little things like I never learned how to curl my hair what am I supposed to do now I just the little things in life I had never met anyone the first year without my mom I didn't really know how to handle mother's day I didn't know how to handle her birthday I didn't know how to handle these things because I had my family and I had these role models and that was great, but I didn't have anyone who was living it with me or who had like already lived through that to give me advice. So empower her to me has really helped with that a lot. We're not really close with my mom's family anymore and we've never really been close with my dad's family. Luckily, the community that I live in has been so, so generous and so helpful for me. I have had a lot of women and womanly role models to help me throughout these years, but it's never really the same as, you know, like an aunt or a grandmother or your mom, obviously. I had kind of known some girls who had lost their moms, but they didn't really ever talk about it. And it was just kind of hard not knowing like another girl who had lost their mom and what I was going through. When I joined Empower Her that May, it was such a relief to walk into a room and know all 14 of us had been had lost our mom at some point and regardless if we were th three four or five years old or 16 17 we all have the same loss and the same grief it's not always the same if you have a role model who hasn't been through exactly what you've been through it's sometimes hard to look up to them for certain things and having these role models who have been through different experiences than me or like the same experiences as me or harder situations than me and like seeing that they're okay and that i'll be okay is a really beautiful thing to have as well. I loved seeing Kara and Anne-Marie and all these older women who have been such great role models for me personally and it's nice to see that just because your mom died doesn't mean that your life's over like you can keep going and thanks to them I see that and I liked knowing I wasn't alone. So having people you can just get your frustrations out with, even if they don't know the answers, just being able to talk about it and see that like they went through this and they're okay is an absolutely amazing thing to have. When I joined Empower Her, they had just um, created their mentor match program and I was one of the first mentees to be matched with my mentor, Andrea. And it's been such a, um, it's been so great honestly because especially during this quarantine, we're able to call each other and she's able to check in on me and I love I love that because it's almost like a connection I would have with my mom and it's nice to know that I have a woman out there who cares about me and wants to help me and it's just great. <laughs> and before quarantine we liked to you know go shopping and have dinner and we would watch movies and I did a lot of the same things I would do with my mom with her so it was nice to, or it is nice to have that. The hardest adjustments that I've had is moving into college, having family weekend and it just being my dad come and having people ask where's your mom like what's your family situation like having to explain that to people is a hard situation that like it gets kind of awkward and no one really knows how to handle it and like even the women who I've talked to who have been through it sometimes don't know how to handle it but it's really good to have people there for you who know that awkwardness and who know those frustrations and 
who can help you maneuver. We all miss our moms. And then to just remind her of like your own strength sometimes, something that's like really important. I think that like I'll have a tough day where I'm at school and people are like asking about my family situation or like family weekends, always a hard weekend or having people's like mom's there, I'm a cheerleader, having people's like mom's there before a game, like visiting them and like they were a cheerleader too and just doing all these like girly things with their mom. Like that can be hard and sometimes I think that people don't estimate how strong they are to be able to go through that every single day and like sometimes it's important to just take a step back and understand how strong you are and understand that like the strength at the end of the day is what defines you you're not defined by being like the girl whose mom died you're defined by like the strength that you have and that's something that empower her has definitely taught me over the years and that's something that has helped me and like some knowledge that like i wish i had learned sooner but now that i know it like it'll i know that it'll help me for years to come if you guys um have any questions we are here to uh, help or hopefully answer them and we would love to hear from you thank you